Beloved, this coming Sunday is Good Shepherd Sunday. All the lectionary readings are about Christ as the Good Shepherd in one way, shape, or form. As the shepherd and the bishop and the guardian of our souls, he, our Lord Jesus, the crucified God, continues to be our guardian. There are so many ways that I am persuaded he guards and protects us on a daily basis that we're totally unconscious of. And yet, this is the place he fulfills in our life. And he loves all of his sheep. He knows each of us intimately well. And he calls each of us by name. Jesus, our good shepherd, is a vigilant protector. And as our bishop, he is concerned about the welfare of our soul and the way our soul is nurtured and grown and formed and shaped in that which is tied to who he is and what he's about and in relationship to flourishing and that which represents goodness and beauty and truth in our lives. Soul care is a big deal for Jesus. Uh, he is the great physician of the soul. And because he guards us and guides us, he also grounds us. And sometimes that ground is ground where we have to learn how to stop and rest. You know, when it says, he makes me to lie down in green pastures, I suppose there's a few ways you can read that. But in the world we live in today, where it's so much easier to stand up and get things done and not take a moment to rest, sometimes we need the Great Shepherd to make us lie down in green pastures. There are so many things that push against us and pull on us. So many ways in which we feel like we're running to and fro and going nowhere that we need to be reminded that Jesus is the provider of rest, a deep rest from the inside out, a rest that cannot be troubled because of all the trouble he went through to purchase that rest for us. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace fell upon him. There's so much in those three verses about all that he endured, all that he suffered, all that he allowed himself to enter into so that he could not only provide our rest, but become our rest from the inside out. And learning how to let him be our rest takes time, takes patience, takes a willingness to take every thought captive that's going to take you away from that rest. And the other thing about Jesus is that he wants us all to get along. Now, that's easier said than done because there's so many ways, especially in the current culture, where we can get on each other's last nerve. There are so many things that can trigger unrest. There are so many stressors that we face in the contemporary world that we really do need to take a step back and allow Christ to make us observers first, even of our knee-jerk reactions, so that they don't become knee-jerk reactions. But Jesus spends a lot of time reconciling us to each other and even to ourselves. Because the truth is, is that I can't be reconciled to you if I'm restlessly unreconciled to parts of myself on the inside of myself. You know, when in the ancient world, when they would heal a broken bone that was a compound fracture that broke through the skin, as they would reset that bone, they had a word for that that is tied to restoration that means the bone came to peace. There's a lot of areas of brokenness in our life, compound fractures, and Christ, our Good Shepherd, wants to reset those connections in all of our lives so that our bones 
come to peace. And that peace is such a wonderful peace. It's a peace the world can't give and the world can't take away, as the songwriter said. But as we contemplate him who is the Good Shepherd, the Bishop, and the Guardian of our souls, let's pray that we would be sensitive to his leading, to his guiding, and oh yeah, as a Middle Eastern shepherd, he leads from behind us. you got to walk by faith in front of you and learn to hear the voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. He's going to move you forward by faith and from the inside out let you know, I'm here, I'm moving, I'm active, and I'm going to bring you to where you ultimately are intended to be. Let's let him be the good shepherd he already is.